Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add navigation to your Swift UI app. First off, you're going to define your project with interface Swift UI and language Swift and then choose where to save it. That's going to give you this default project here. Um, and what you're going to do is you're want, going to want to have your um, your main view have the navigation view. That navigation view is just like your home page or your route. And from there you can navigate around, which I'll show you in a minute. Navigation view is going to give you things like um, header bars and the back bar and like actions that you can add to the um, header bar. And you can do things like adding a navigation bar title, which I'm going to do now. I call mine home. You can see that's displayed on screen in the typical iOS style. Now I'm going to show you how to create an inline um, navigation link, which basically links you to another page. To do this, if you want to do it inline, you're going to define your destination basically as the view you would have if you had it defined as a separate um, file. The reason you might do this is if you've got very simple UI that you want to navigate to, um, but generally I like to separate mine out into files just for separation of concern and to keep my views more simple. So here I am defining my Hello World um, inline view. And with the navigation link, I also need to define what I'm going to click on to navigate to that page. So I'm just going to create this text that says inline view. And when I click on that, it's going to open my inline view. I'm also going to add a navigation bar title to this one. Oops, I've added that at the wrong level. So I'm just going to go ahead and move that to an appropriate level so that it's defined against the inline view and displays when I click on my inline view. It's kind of useful because in the nav bar when you're navigating around it'll show what view you'd be navigating back to. So I click on the inline view and it shows that header and I can click back to the home page. I've shown you an inline view now. I'm going to go ahead and add one as a file. So you can see how it would look as a file, which is my preference for how to add things. I think it's just better coding practice in general. You're going to want to import Swift UI because you're going to be defining a Swift UI view and also your navigation page. So it's just going to follow the normal way of defining a Swift UI view. Just going to have hello on screen. And I'm going to go ahead and create my preview as well. Preview is really useful because you can sort of see what you're working with on screen. It's a really good feature because it means you don't need to run your application a lot. Now I've opened that canvas so I can see the preview. I'm going to add a V-stack so it's a bit more sizable. I'm also just going to have a private variable that's going to hold my greeting. So it's going to, the text is just going to display my greeting. I'm 
Going to give that a navigation bar title of second. And also I'm going to have a navigation bar item that's going to be called Say Hi. And what that's going to do is it going, it's going to set the greeting. That trailing means it'll be at the end of the navigation bar. Now to my navigation view, I'm going to add another navigation link that will take me to my second view. And I'm going to define the text that will take me there. It's just going to say second view. Clicking on that opens it up. It has that bar, bar, bar title and also showed hello when I clicked on it. Now I'm defining another file. I'm going to call this one Greetings View. This is one that I'm going to pass some data to. It's going to be very similar to the second view. But instead of it being a state variable for greeting, I'm going to go ahead and make the greeting passed in. So you can see that greetings view will take in um, a greeting in a language. I'm going to need to pass those in through the greetings view constructor. constructor. So I'm passing in the greeting and the language. I'm going to use the language to set my navigation bar title and the greeting to set my text. So you can see it says bonjour there because that's why I'm passing to the preview. Now I'm going to create a third navigation link which is going to link to my greetings view. It's going to be the French view. I'm going to pass in the greeting in the language. So the greeting is going to be bonjour. And the language will be French. And I'm going to do the same thing, except for a different language.
So you can see that I pass that through. And when I show you on screen, it's going to take you to the different language depending which one you click on. I don't know why that was giving me an error a second ago. It seems to be working fine now. So you can see that's how you would pass data between your different views. Now I'm going to show you how you can have an object inside your um, main view that is then reflected in other parts of your navigation. So to do that, I've created this observable object called name. And I'm going to go ahead and add that as an environment object. That means it'll be available within any of my navigation links. I'm going to create another view and I'm calling this one third view. I'm using that second view as a base for it. I'll give it a different navigation bar title so it's obvious. And I'm just setting up that preview. I'm going to refer to the environment object here. And then inside my text, I'm going to refer to it again and just say hello to the value of my name, environment object. So now I'm going to go ahead and run this. Actually, first I'm going to need to add another navigation link. I'm going to show you navigation linking from somewhere else, so I'm going to add it to my second view. So I set the destination the same, and then I define my text that's going to link to my um, third view. So I'll go to my second view, then I can click on my third. You can see it says, hello YouTube, that observable object has been passed around. You can see I can sort of just click between them and navigate quite easily between all the different views. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content. All my code will be available on GitHub.